Do all the Serio Robotics Club kids know that? I don't know. He doesn't want to talk about it. He split from the team just before the finals match. Why would he do that? Right as the match came up, he had to transfer schools due to his parents' divorce. That's rough, buddy. That sucks, man. He's kind of a dick, but that that sucks for a kid to go through. It was quite sudden. It ended up taking a toll on him. That's why he's so dead set on winning the tournament. All right, I'm good. Thanks. That wasn't like especially helpful. But I mean, we'll take it. Anyway, back to robots. Oh, hey. Oh, that's a hot chocolate. I now I am now in possession of a hot chocolate. As you all know, our next opponent in the tournament is the Sasaki Technical College Second Robotics Club. As compared to the first robotics club? They received the judges prize in last year's tournament. It was an award that's almost as honorable as winning. Mm. That sounds tough. Yeah. Yes. But they don't employ any special tactics. Our usual methods should be enough to handle them. The real issue comes after. The finals would be up against Toto College of Science Robotics Club. Yeah, the cocky college kids from last time. The ones who decided that it was in their best interest to come over and taunt a bunch of high schoolers. Huh. Imagine being a college who's like a, you're like a three time champion and the odds on favorite to win again. And there's some young, there's some like young little upstart team of high schoolers. And you just go over to them and be like, yeah, good luck, shit, babby kids. Like, why? What kind of machine do they use? What about their strategies? I don't know. They completely change up the machine's strategies for every match. I was able to predict Toto College's final match strategy based on the data on previous ma uh, previous year's matches I've analyzed. Two possible strategies have been predicted. The first is the high caliber and annihilation strategy where they'll cripple our mobility with overwhelming firepower. The other is the exact opposite, a total defense strategy where they continuously fortify their defenses and practically never attack, slowly lining up their pieces in the process. Oy, oy. Those strategies are complete opposites. Unless we narrow it down to one, we won't be able to counter them. According to my sources, they plan for a scrimmage the day before the finals. If we can watch it, we'll have our answer. No, you won't. Yeah. Day before, even if we do figure it out by then, there's no way we could develop anything oh. in time. You right. That's why in order to prepare countermeasures for either scenario, we have to do both. Yeah, they're talking about all of these like they're talking about all these detailed strategies and it's like. And it's like, how about we just pick up five pieces and line them all up in a row and then win? That'll work. We will move forward with simultaneous development of two separate machines. What? No.
Plan A, endure the enemy's fierce attacks by creating a machine that goes all in on defense. Plan B, exploit the weak points of their armored unit by creating an extremely fast machine and outdo them in performance. Simultaneous, simultaneous development has been the downfall of many, many a ambitious game project. Yes, this is possible in theory. We wasted a lot of time in our development up till now. Our multitasking was inefficient. Constant minor delays kept disrupting our schedule. If I reassess and re-optimize everyone's workflow, I calculate we'll just make it to the match. Yeah, can we not do that and do something that's less dumb? No, we are doing this. Guess I won't be having dinner at home for a while. Well, I suppose in some ways, high school does prepare you for the workforce. Uh. Probably gonna have to pull all-nighters for this. Hey, maybe don't do that, children. It's got more complicated. Is this what sweatshops are like? Hey, I would like you to know that your idea is bad and you should feel bad. Uh. Well, that's not going to work. Man, I am so close to being able to afford all of these, but I can actually... Does that say... Chat, should, should I equip a hate chip into my robot? That feels like a bad idea. That seems like it would have negative implications. Fine, everything's fine, it's fine. I mean, like, let's be real here. None of these robots have a mouth. They'll be fine. What the fuck is... Oh, I see. Yeah, oh, this... Okay. <laughs> I have no mouth, and I must win this for Serio. This is, uh, this is going to be nightmarish, actually. Ow. Um Uh-oh. This This might become a problem. So, do you guys think we could get a piece at any point, or...? 
Okay. Well, at the very least, they finally started to... They finally started to consider making that strategy less convenient. But ultimately, I think it's just that our robots are bad. Mine. It'll still work if I can get the pieces. Oh, shit. Oh. I suppose... I suppose it's true they could do it to us, too. Well, I suppose that's what happens when all of the when all of your opponent's robots are significantly better than yours in every way. So obviously, let's try again. Oh, that's actually rather convenient, actually. Yeah, that bot is just chasing me around the map. Like, they've just decided that bullying is the way to go. Oh, that's annoying. Yeah, so when I get, uh... When I get pushed like that, I literally just can't move. I just get like I just get shoved all the way into the into the nearest wall. And then that's that. I do have boost. That's true. Okay, I guess I'm over here now. That's fun. I would like to move. Okay. Okay, well, all of our robots are now dead. I'm just literally not being allowed to move, which, you know, 
being unable to move makes it difficult to yeah, win. So, okay, countermeasures. Getting pieces placed is more important than perfect placement, except that because they are picking up pieces at a two to one clip, um, I have to make all of those placements really count. Uh. What does this even do? Prioritize, for, prioritize actions that attack and block enemies. Oh, oh, interesting. Cooperative action. Actions that capture and defend territory. Aha! Chases the enemy's leading unit and attempts to disrupt its actions. So that's basically what that one is doing. It is literally just like... It is literally just like... Seeking me out and pushing me around. Now what I need to find out is... Is there something I can do to not get pushed all the way into a wall? The problem I'm running into with a lot of this is I don't actually have the parts. A shop in the park that sells a bunch of this stuff but the application reports I can only get by winning and I just don't have a bunch of those and I don't know why Motors might help. All right, Nova, do the things. Hey, Broadscope, it's going fine, but we've we've encountered another uh, patented RGG difficulty spike, and are now looking for a, a way to deal with that. Yeah, Oops. No, I don't. Uh, I I did. No, I don't want it. To... 
Oh, in minigame. Always in minigame. Never not minigame. So since I'm uh, since I'm somewhat skill walled there, now we will. Is it you? Did you drop this? Uh, no. Hey, I think you dropped this. I pushed you out of the way to pick it back up. I'm a saint. Says the game and not me about myself. Remember, kids, Kiryu never killed anyone. Oh, yeah, no, the, uh, the Yakuza difficult, the, the Yakuza battle difficulty spike is usually in boss fights. The, uh... And especially in those early games where, like, it's super frustrating because they give everyone weapons that give you like that just stun you and you have to wait for Kiryu to go through his whole like stagger fall down animation. And it's like a full five seconds before you regain control of the character and then you get up and it just happens again. Super great. Feels good. What's up, photography girl? Do you need help with your pictures? What am I taking photos of? Criminals. The student is suspected to pickpocket and uses a pretty clever MO. I tried to photograph him so many times, but I can't manage it. So just snap a photo of him pickpocketing. Hi. Yeah, I want to get a picture of him in act so I can show him the photo and make him reflect on his conduct. No. So you're not going to tell the school or the police. Nope. All delinquent students should be given a chance to turn over a new leaf. All I want is to bring awareness. While misguided, I actually kind of respect it. That like that is a that is a philosophy that is um naive but honorable. To bring enlightenment. Look at that. All right, cool. Where am I going? Near the ticket gate of Junai Station. Let me know when you're ready to go. We can head over together. I'm ready to go now, please. I'm, I'm good. So, that's that's a weird prompt because when I say, um. When I say I'm good, it usually means no. Like, she's like, hey, you ready to go over to do this? Um, if I say I'm like, no, I'm good. Like, I'm good. That usually means like, no, I don't want to do that. But in his case, he means I'm good to go. This hot chocolate is pretty, it's, it was, it was quite good. It's pretty good. That's a good purchase. Thanks, Aldi. Target is a third year student by the name of Jodai Fujimaru. On the surface, he seems like a harmless, innocent student. Except he has a habit of stealing things. So, neither harmless nor innocent, actually. Oh, and there he is now, apparently, somehow. How convenient.
He always seems to just wander onto the streets and start pickpocketing. That's pretty scummy. How do you want me to take these photos? The key here is to take pictures that will make the target reflect on what he did. So it'd be awesome if you could catch him at the precise moment when he lifts the wallet, and if possible, with a sort of evil look on his face. Look at that. I'll do my best. So her whole thing is basically like she went into this whole thing about like removing removing the subjectivity of the self and basically saying like people when when people see evil they recognize it but they don't see it in themselves so people do bad things without really thinking they're doing something bad so if you show them the picture of themselves doing the bad thing they will recognize it as evil and reflect on it and be like, oh, God, is that really what I look like? I'm a bad person. I should change, which, again, is a, you know. It would be cool if that worked. And I'm sure that it will for game purposes. But. I don't know what that means in this context. Maybe. Uh. All right, exact moment of pickpocket someone with an evil look on his face. Try to get what you want. Oh, that was weird. Oh, shit. I missed my chance. Got to wait for another opportunity. Oh, this is hard. Wait. Oh, okay. Is he going to just do the same thing again? Perfect. I got a great shot. Eh, it's acceptable. Impressive. Let's use that pick to enlighten him, and I'm sure we won't have to kick his ass now. Guess I hit the jackpot. All right, let's see if the uh, let's see if the sense of self is overwhelmed by the sense of cash. That's a bit direct, but OK. OK, it's time for enlightenment. Is this the type of person you want to be? You're supposed to be of pure heart. Do you see this? What are you talking about? Who are you? High school is mine is like a tabula rasa. Conv a canvas with infinite possibilities, untainted by any color. Enlightenment will allow you to finally leave your child state and photography will give you the opportunity for enlightenment. Is this a cult? I'm not interested in any cults. I, I don't, I don't know. I don't like this. Why are you talking so much about enlightenment? No. Hey, you need to explain yourself in simple terms if you don't want to be misunderstood. Like, I don't like the simple terms. OK, just look at this photo. It shows the moment you pickpocketed an innocent citizen. Oh, it's working. What the? Wait. 
What the hell is this? Who are you guys? I would like to ask you the same thing. Who are you? You're not the kind of person who commits such a heinous crime. Don't you see, even though your actions can never be undone, it's not too late for you. Confront your objective self and be enlightened. It's time to Aufheben. That sounds like a German philosophical term that I am unfamiliar with. Okay, you're trying to blackmail me, right? The only thing being blackmailed is your conscience. I don't understand anything you're saying, so I think I'm going to just kick your ass. Yeah, this isn't good. Hey, stop. You step off, I'm going to kick her ass. So this is basically why we're here anyway. Oh no, he's bad at it. No worries, everyone. We're just calming Fujimaru down. Hey, you got one. I'm really trying to end this peacefully. And by peacefully, I mean with raw intimidation. Freaking damn it, fuck. Well, this is how the mission ends. <sighs> Everything is the result of your own actions. Look at your, look at your shadow, the true self. I look like shit. Just like my big bro in prison. See, you don't want to end up in there with him, do you? Actually, I miss him a lot. Take this opportunity to repent. Okay, fine. I'm over this shit anyway. Won't happen again. I don't believe you. Wait, did that really just work? Well, then I'm going to give you this picture as a souvenir of your revelation. I don't want the picture. That feels like this entire sub story in a nutshell. Later, losers. Does that count as going well? Let's head on back to the club room, I guess. God, another thing that increases my focus. I don't want it. Any, give me anything else. All right. Power photography is truly amazing. We got Fujimaru to reflect on what he did. It kind of seemed like he just got tired of being angry, but sure, let's go with it. Thanks for your help. There are a lot more delinquent students I want to take pictures of, so please come to our club room whenever you feel like it. Why are there more? <laughs> this girl's more reckless than Amasawa. It's too risky to leave her alone. 
I'll help her out again. I might be able to get some info on the professor. Look at this photograph. And cutscene. Text message. Turn around and do it. No? Alright, what's uh what's locking me out here? That's 50%? Make an appearance later, you see. Hmm. Well, I suppose we I suppose we could head back over to the casino and try to get the uh try to get the bathroom guy to talk. Hi. I'm lost again. I want to get to the classroom. Say I talked to him before. He's just explaining the layout of the of the school, but it doesn't matter because I can just set a waypoint to wherever I want to go. We did it, everybody. We left the high school. For now. I got half a mind to, uh, maybe, possibly, potentially, maybe, even actually advance the plot. But let's not get too crazy. I don't I don't want to overpromise anything. Yeah. Man, I would I would want to jump a car that clean since I started playing. Feels good. Uh, are you asking who requested it or what the source material is? Because I don't remember who requested it, but I think it's from Gumball? That one didn't work out as well. But it's fine. Oh, okay, yeah. If, uh, if I'm not mistaken, that is a different Cartoon Network series that I was too old for. Understood. That was easier than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, this isn't suspicious at all. No one will notice. There's only like 15 people hanging out here. All right, what was the password again? I'll hook you up with some takeout if you tell me. Wait, all you had to do is bribe them with food? You just like, I'll get you some fried rice? And a, and, a, and a meat bun, if you tell me the password? The password free and a replacement card. 
is Bona Chic. Use it at the Eugene Show Ibisu Pawn. That was the same password for my first card. Aha. Uh -huh. Got it. I guess I will go to the pawn shop. I now have guts. Like, when you get it, it's so clean. That guy was just gonna run over my leg. He was really about to do that. Ooh, squirrel. I feel like I'm gonna need these later. And so it's probably in my... Oh, I despawn that encounter. No, I was get I was actually gonna fight you guys. It's cool. We can do this. Oh, on the stairs. That sucks. You seem angry. Anyhow. Oh God, that's a student. Oh, I'm sorry, kid. Wait, I was trying to... Oh, I don't have any meter. Well. Your loss, I guess. He bounced. That's probably not good for him. You gotta believe. Oh, fine. I think I've I think I've actively used the taunt in this game more often than probably any Yakuza game you jerks killed the bike Sorry, child. Hey, good job, kid. I forgot I have a thing for this.
Oh! Oh, this is weird. I can't. I'm blind. Oh, I haven't had that actually happen to me before. That was a cheap shot, but it was kind of cool. Yo, shout outs to that car who just saw a grown man beating up a bunch of high school students in the middle of the street. And their response to that was just to beat. Wait, where am I going? Oh, there it is, ABC Pond. I've already forgotten the password, so hopefully Yagami remembers. Something about Sheik. Anything catch your eye today? What was that pet? Bony chick, bony chick, but um tis. Okay, luckily they made this easy. The password is show me the money, but you have to yell it repeatedly. Oh. You have idea on you. Anything with a photo of you works. Sure, right here. Sign up fee of 50,000 yen. What? I'm not charging you unless you want the membership. Hey. Look at that. I mean, it is the end of the quest of figuring out how to get a casino membership card. Here you are, your membership Ooh. card. Thanks. Heaven's door! I should take this card to the weird guy in the Chinatown bathroom and see what happens. Oh, we're jumping this. No! I timed that about as well as I could. Goddamn SUVs. Okay. Anyhow. Back to the bathroom. It's nice to get into a random fight every now and then. If for no other reason than just because, you know, we got all these XP boosters, we might as well use them. Next. Boy, that just looks bad every time I do it. 
Like it's supposed to be really cool, but it just never it just never works out. Goodbye, sir. Anyway, back to the casino. When to use crane? The answer is never. Fine. Hey, what's up? I got a card. You got the stuff? Or the place? Wait, what am I here for? What the hell? Here's my card, good sir. Well, it's real going in. In here? The far stall. Pay attention to the wall. Okay. Whoa, secret passage! I will see what is in the secret passage. Literally, how have you not figured this out yet, Yagami? Seriously. Come on. You are literally tracking a girl going to a secret underground casino. Obviously, this is where that would be. This is unreal. A full casino like this in a bathroom? Well, time to see if the girl's here. Hopefully I have an easier time finding her now than I did before. A high school girl ought to stick out like a sore thumb in a place like this. Make my round, see if I can spot her. All right, single fold eyelids, slanted eyes, thin chin, short hair, girl in her teeth. Uh huh. Is this not okay? I'm, I'm relieved that I'm, I'm relieved to be wrong. You know what? I dig the getup. She's doing it. Definitely has the same features. Could she have actually disguised herself? Does that explain how she's able to slip past me so easily when she left the restroom, except she didn't leave? Let's see what this person has to say after the game. Investigation complete. Wait, do we have to play first? Impossible, how could I be out bluffed? That's the kid everyone's been talking about. Man that looks like Hayakawa. What, cause she's in a tux? Girls can rock tuxes, it looks great. How about we stop there for today? Hello there, fellow kid. Why did you say that name? Takayugi Yagami. I'm currently the advisor for Serio High's Mystery Research Club. Right now I'm looking for a student. I hear she's at this casino right now. 
Well, Mr. Re-Research Your Target, she's a chick and I'm a dude, so... Okay, well, she's good. She's got the skills of a pro gambler. You're talking to Mikitaka Makari. My membership card proves it, so I don't know what to tell you. You're gonna bluff me, huh? You can't disguise yourself perfectly forever. You think I'm disguised as a guy? You see, I wanna find out if I'm really a man. Mm. No, I'm not saying that. That's not what I'm saying. Does that sound like that's what I'm saying? That's not what I'm saying. I mean, it's a strong bluff, though. What are you gonna do? Strip me down right now to prove I'm a teenage girl? You think they'll be cool with that here or at the high school? Not calling that bluff. Oh, if we're done here, yeah. we're not. As the outside counselor for the MRC, I'm currently looking into whether or not Hayakawa-san has been coming to this casino. But I'm also looking into someone who's been paving the way for Serio students into the Inji, into the Ijinsho under, underworld. People have been calling him the professor. Okay. Thinking it might have to do with your membership card. As an advisor who's witnessed you here, I don't have any choice but to report you to the school. Do what you gotta do, pal. No skin off my teeth. Do not! Do not do this! Oh, no. Holy crap, no. Let's gamble for the truth. She'll take that. How about we bet on it? A bet, you say? If you beat me in poker, I forget everything I'm seeing here. But if I win, then you answer any and all of my questions, including how a high schooler got a membership to a casino. You appear to do a good job selling your hand. You're here for thrills, right? This is a good bet. You like it. You love that. You don't know me, but yes, I do want to do that. I should get some chips. What do you got for prize exchange? We got plates. We got an expert bat. We got black drop. I don't know if that's better than purple drop. And also it doesn't matter because we're done with skateboarding. We got an extract vessel. I forgot that extracts were a thing. And a free pass voucher. That, I do want to get those actually. I would like to buy a thousand chips for a hundred thousand yen, please. Thanks. All right, I got chips. Ready for our game? I should play poker with her now. Uh. Let's do this right this way. Hey, didn't they say she was like completely undefeated and had never lost anything ever? I, I mean, Makari Kun, I, I heard you're able to read your opponents like a book. Any truth to that? <laughs> Who could say any gambler worth their salt puts up an effort into picking up other players' emotions? Better put on the poker face. Picking up other players' emotions, huh? This might get tough. Better put on my poker face. Yo, does she just like Joseph Joe star us? Your next line is. This freaking kid. Yeah, I'm going to the poker table. Best of luck. Ugh. I mean, I'll see some free cards. That's garbage. Check. 
Yeah, I'm out of that. Thanks. I think I was running a king, I'm sure. Oh, it didn't matter. She just... Okay. Wait! Hold on! It's one hand? Excuse... Hey! That's not... Are you for real with that? Looks like I won. Hope you can keep a promise. Can we arrange another bet? I've already got your silence, so you need to put something else up this time. What's in it for me? Hey, I know. You see, I've been sitting here winning for so long. I'm starting to get sore. How about you give my shoulders a rub while I play? That's kind of not cool. For as long as I see fit. Uh. Fine. If I win, you're going to answer all my questions. It doesn't matter how she reads people. I folded because the because the hand was bad. Hmm? You're just playing poker. What? Her eyes are closed. How does she read opponents like that? Sound probably. All right, observe her a bit more. She ain't been paying any attention to her opponent. She just sits there with her eyes closed. What's she doing? She's screwing with you specifically, you got me. Deception is out of the question. Luck was simply not on your side this time. You fucking kidding me? No, here come the bouncers. Is there a problem here? The pit boss has arrived. Did Hayakawa would look over at that guy before he even started flipping out? How does she know that was going to happen? If she's reading her opponents, she has to be doing it without looking at them. But how? I should get out of here and report. She knows a bunch of dumb stuff. Maybe she knows what's going on. Brainstorm Hayakawa countermeasures. Excellent. We're going to boost that attack skill. And then we're going to, you know what? I haven't put anything into crane style. And I, I've been, I've been just like not using it because I, I basically been saying like, I don't like it very much, but, um, you know, maybe, maybe I would like it if I actually invested into it. So. That's cool. I've never used that. Snake style is very good. Unfortunately, I've learned everything I can in snake style right now. Everything else is locked. So I do need to uh, divest somewhat. At the very least, I suppose I could take some of the cheap skills that I've been ignoring. Yeah, that's the word I wanted. Oh, that's really good, actually. 
Yeah, divesting implies that I am taking points away from something else. Uh, to answer your question, we have made it into the casino. And we are, uh... We are trying to track down this, uh... We're trying to track down this girl who's doing her whole uh, kakegurui thing of uh, of gambling nonsense. And uh, and she's really good at it, but she might be cheating. Nova, ultimately, if you are more concerned about the public bathroom having having iron in it than the public bathroom having a full a fully functioning casino in it, you might need to reprioritize that. without looking at the cards. I do like that. So this whole thing. Uh, the casino is literally also my problem because there's a student going there and we have to and we have to figure out, like, I guess not why she's going to the casino, because she's going because she's good at it and she likes it. But. But I guess the uh, I guess the angle is like, well, she's underage, so she shouldn't be allowed in, but she has a she has a membership card for some reason. And we think the professor may have something to do with this, so we need to find out. Also, she kicks everyone ass. She kicks everyone's ass in gambling and is like is basically like reading what's going on around her without actually looking at anyone. So we, we're going to try to figure out how because we made a bet with her and we're like, if I beat you, you have to tell me what's going on. She was like, cool. And then she kicked our ass. Way to read someone's emotions without looking at them. I mean, you read a lot. Do you, do you read this in like a book or something? Mm. All right, if we exclude extrasensory capabilities from the pool of possible answers, we'd be able to determine how she does it with slight with sight eliminated as well. We're down to four no, choices. No. Both scientists and laymen have observed how the have observed how the human body releases all sorts of information unconsciously all the time. Perhaps Hayakawa can sense this, sense this invisible information with an unusually acute sense. Something other than sight. You're the one who actually faced Hayakawa-san at the table. I'm sure you paid close attention to her. I was mostly looking at the cards. From what you gathered, how would you surmise Hayakawa could be reading her opponent's act emotions? Mm. The sense other than sight, huh? If I think back to the casino, she seemed to know that one guy was going to flip his lid before he did it, and she wasn't looking at him when she noticed him. People unconsciously send out information about their emotions all the time. We're also using one of her senses to receive that information. It's hearing. It's obviously hearing. Oh, my God. She picks up the sound of her opponent's breath changing when they've got a good or bad hand. No, wait. She knew the one guy at the casino was going to throw a fit before he even opened his oh. mouth. And if she'd picked up their conversation mid-argument, it'd be a much different story. Uh. 
So it's not hearing. Hearing excluded. I really don't want it to be smell. They're invisible. You can pick them up without looking at the source. I actually read something a while back. Research was conducted that it indicates dogs are capable of sensing a human's emotions based on the scent alone. We're, we're, we're digging into this. We're doing it. Humans' hormone balance usually fluctuates as their emotions change. As a result, the scent of their sweat can also change. Oh. 